Hello. Hello. <laughs> How are you? I I am doing very well. Thank you. How are you? Oh, I'm doing great too. Good. Well, my name is Joe. What is your name? My name is Paolo. Paolo. Now, are you from San Paolo? Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? It's a kind of, yeah, it's a kind of tricky sentence. I'm Paolo from San Paolo. <laughs> ah, awesome. Well, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. So, I have to ask, how did you hear about me? Oh, I have Marcelo's. Uh, I follow him in YouTube channel. Awesome. Yes, yeah. Marcelo. Yeah, I, I, I like his channel. And I, I like his way to practice his English. To practice English, yes, yeah, of course. Yeah. Because he, I think he has his channel from two years. And he's improved a lot his English from this last six months because yes. he's practicing maybe every day or three times a week. I think maybe every day, yes. I have been keeping up with his channel for a while and his English has it has gotten better and better and better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And sometimes... Um, I try some teachers from his channel, but I think for me at this moment, Cambly is too much. It's, it's expensive for me now. I, I can't pay. Uh, and I try find a teacher from Skype or Zoom. And yesterday, I find you. I found I you. Found you, yes. Yeah. Uh, I tried, you can say I tried, I tried. to find a yeah. teacher. Yeah. Well, good. I'm, I'm glad that you found me. It, many people have told me Cambly is a little too expensive. I think they charge about 20 US dollars per hour, but I don't know how many Brazilian real that is. I would have to convert it. Yeah, it would, for me here is maybe... Um, it would be double, double what I told you. Yeah, probably. Because here in Brazil, one dollar is five times more. Oh, okay. So then the U.S. Much. dollar? Yeah, yeah. Yes, I, I agree with you. So 20 U.S. dollar... It would be dun 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 dun. dun. Hmm. There we go. One hundred and seven point five six. Yeah, it's too much. Yeah. Yeah. And can I can I can I can take English class uh, with you for one year with this price, or 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 with this amount of money? Yeah. Yes, with this amount. Of money or this <laughs> price, either or. Yeah. Now, I did work for Cambly. I worked with Cambly for 10 months, about 10 months. Yes, I was watching your, your videos and I, and I saw uh, that you have a, an experience with Cambly for yes. 10 months, maybe. Yeah. But now Ooh. you have your own company. Uh, pretty much. Well, I actually, yeah. I, I work for two other, well, two English companies, right? Yeah. Um, one is a Chinese company, and the other one I just got hired with. But, and, okay. but now I'm doing, well, I have been doing the private lessons on Skype. And uh, because Cambly, Cambly was, they were not paying me a lot at all. I mean, close to nothing. They were paying me like $3.50 per hour. So it, it just didn't work out. But Cambly, Cambly is a good platform. I think for teachers, it does not pay a lot, but you get to talk to people from all over the world. I yeah. mean, everywhere, like every country, I've talked to somebody from there. So I, yeah. I, I, I like that a lot about it. Yeah, but, but 
nowadays have another ways to be contact with other people around the world, yeah? Definitely. And I was thinking to myself, I said I could make, you know, a lot more money working for myself instead of the company taking half of the profit, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. That's great. So tell me a little bit about yourself. What what are your hobbies? Oh, my hobby is traveling like like you. <laughs> traveling? Yeah. Okay. When you travel, you can learn things, different things, and anybody can rob this to you. It's a, a, it's you experience. It's your experience. It's your experience, yeah. Good. Yes, I, I have never learned so much in my life than when I was traveling. When I traveled, I learned so much because in America, everything on the news is about America. Oh, America's the best, da 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 da, da. I think every country is like that. But when you go to other countries, you learn, oh, it's not just about America. It's about, you know, this culture. And yeah, yeah. It, it's awesome. Yeah, but, but because it's not easy, people think that it's easy just to arrive in a place, in a different place that you don't speak the, the language of the, the country, yeah? And sometimes you, you have some problems to understand, some difficulties, but it's good. You, you grow up with this. You adapt, yes. I, I have been to Thailand two times yeah and, yeah and I went to Colombia and I had a horrible horrible experience <laughs> yeah, in yeah. Colombia twice I, <laughs> I saw I saw your video talking about this you you was you were drugged and robbed I was drugged and robbed the first day and then yeah. the next day I was robbed again yeah wow yeah this it is was, terrible yeah it, it was it was terrible but I learned a valuable lesson Always yeah, watch yeah. a drink, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> especially in Colombia. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But um, today I'm happy. But maybe three days ago I was very sad because I have an experience here in Brazil. I was interviewed uh, from a CEO of a startup company here. And I was into three people between the process that I apply it. Yeah. Okay. And the English is um, mandatory in this in this job. I was trying to be uh, hired for a, a supply chain manager. But I think the they don't explain me exact exactly that the English it it will be mandatory and I was not prepared to they, they did not or they didn't yeah to carry um, like when they start the interview they start in English oh, okay yeah and I was lost. So it was a little curveball. We yeah. would say a curveball. Yeah. You, you maybe weren't as prepared as maybe you should have been. Yeah. It was the same the same situation like you. I, I don't know you. Yeah. It's the first contact. It was the same with the CEO. But I have a problem. And again, I decide to start my English class three times a week and continuing continuing do that continue uh, to to practice yeah, continue for to a practice. long time again because i am the processing every time i have a new process uh, every time i am applying for a new job and in this position english uh, fluent english is mandatory ah okay okay yes yeah. Yes, I've talked to many on Cambly. I talked to many people from Brazil and also like in Saudi Arabia, and many people tell me, 
Joe, for my job, I have to learn English. It's mandatory. Yeah. Yeah. And I always find that interesting because in America, it's not like that, you know? Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, that, that, that's interesting. Well, so did it not go so good, the interview? No, I, I'm not. I, I was not applied. I was not approved. I was not approved. It's okay. Let me tell you something, okay? Yeah. I, I actually... There's a saying, when one door closes, another one opens. Yeah. There yes. will be another opportunity. When I got fired from a Cambly, mm-hmm. I, I told people, I said, yes, I got fired. Uh, I said, but I'm going to find something better. It's been one month. It's been one month, and I've already found a way, way better company to work for. So yeah. just keep your head up and practice. You know, just kind of learn. Learn maybe, oh, what could I have done better? And yeah, but I think your English is good. Oh, thank you. I, I think your English is good. I have to tell you something. You, you do you watch the UFC? Sometimes. Do you know? Okay, I might say his name wrong. You remind me of George Paints, George Saint Pierre. No, 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 no. He's very famous UFC martial artist. Okay. George Saint Pierre. Hmm. No, you have never heard from him. No. Here. Okay, he's ca- he's Canadian though. He's oh yeah, Canadian. So what what are you doing for work right now? Sorry. What are you doing for work? Are you currently employed uh, right now? Yeah, I have I have an um um business here in Brazil after uh, 2013 I start my own company I have a, a company that provide products like food rice and beans and olive this kind of things for bar and restaurants ah nice yeah, yeah. I have this comp. I I have this company for fifteen, uh, for five years. Five years. Wow. Yeah, but with the situation with the pandemic, the pandemic. coronavirus pande- pandemic. Yeah. Yes. The 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 things. <laughs> it's horrible, decrease. especially for restaurants. Yeah. yeah. This the, the my 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 sales decrease a lot maybe 80 percent i think every everyone's has like everybody that owns like a restaurant yeah it has not i think they've been hit kind of the hardest yeah yeah Yeah. so this is a difficult time for me or to me for me for me yeah yes well just hang, hang in there hang in there i know i know starting a business and running a business it's I, I I had a landscaping business, right? A landscaping landscape. Landscape. Um, I would like cut cut grass, cut grass. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Um, and I started the business, and I was thinking to myself, oh, I would tell my mom and my family, oh, it would be so cool to run a bit uh, to run a business. You can work with it whenever you want. No, running a business, you work every day. <laughs> oh yeah. So I did that for three years. Okay, I, I'll, I'll pay you again for more 15 minutes. I can do this now sure. from the pay, PayPal here. Just a minute, please. You can, oh. you can, oh, let me see. You told me that I, that I have to transfer 13, 42 reais, yeah? Yes. But here in this app, Maybe I should to transfer a little more because it's not maybe four. Yes, I don't know. I don't know what happened with that. Um... Uh, just a minute, please. Look this. This is okay. 
Yes, perfect. Okay, I, I will continue. And I am going to send you a link. I want you to click on that link. It's who you remind me of, that martial artist, okay? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah? Yes. Look. Okay, awesome. Okay. I will go ahead. I will put you on my calendar, so you are one up. So okay. when it, whenever is a good time for you, just definitely let me know, like the time and the day, and I'm real flexible. Okay. But I think this time, five o'clock here in Brazil and three o'clock at Texas, it's, it's okay for me and for you, yeah? Yeah. Three, three times a week. Definitely, yes. Okay. We can go... Uh, we can go ahead with this and we can we can uh, build, we can move forward you can move forward and we can build a good relationship here together yes yeah definitely hey and if you if you ever want me to post one of the recordings like on my channel that's yeah, totally of fine course. with me just let me yeah. know yeah the, I, uh, this is the, my first time uh, recording at Skype, but I, 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 I saw that this video will be available for 30, 30 days, yes? 30 for days. both. For both. Yeah. Yes. Okay. You can do what you want with this video. No problem. All right. Okay. Uh, maybe I'll go ahead and post it. But yeah, it was good talking to you, and I will see you soon. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So this is my my situation nowadays. Yes, uh, I'm paying for a. Um, let me see the right name of this. Uh, uh, consulting, maybe. Uh, consulting. Yeah, I'm paying for this uh, service here. And, and I have maybe um, six months more to apply to have a job to be fired. To be fired? No, to be hired. Hired. In a job. Yeah. yeah. Uh, my, my degree is in business administration. And I have a uh, postgraduate graduated in graduate yeah in business administrations with emphasis in marketing oh that's awesome that's a yeah. really good degree to have yeah and after that i i i took a mba uh -huh. and in supply chain and logistics logistics yeah Okay, well, I can learn something from you then. <laughs> I, I love business. I really love business, but I did not go to school for it, so I can definitely learn something from you. <laughs> okay. And so I start to pay this consulting to have a new opportunity fast than I was in a LinkedIn or another platform that will take a lot of uh, more time to maybe Indeed or Glassdoor. Sorry, like in Indeed or Glassdoor. Yes, maybe? I know this. Yes, I know Indeed. But I think this is a lot of people applying for a job. Million yeah. people, one million for one. Yeah. So with this consulting, I can get uh, more chances, and the more process is fast. Yeah, because they. Oh, I have Paulo. He works with this and that. I can, I can uh, present him for you, and you continues the process. Yeah, it's fast. It's, it's yes, yes, the fast. process. The process is faster. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, hey, good job. I'm gonna go ahead and get going now. But it was nice meeting you, and I will see you soon. Okay. We yes. have we have more time or not? Um, well, it's been about twenty one minutes. We have more. 
Oh, did you want to? Oh, oh, okay. The payment was for another fifteen minutes. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I thought you wanted have, a different. Okay, thing. no problem. <laughs> that's, that's that's fine. <laughs> yeah, I I think this is important in this first meeting to uh, to you understand uh, how we can build the the next classes. Yeah. The next for, class. The next class. Uh, for me, grammar is not important. Uh, maybe yeah. if I have some doubt, you can uh, correct me, yeah? Of course, of course. Uh, I like to be surprised as the, about the subject. Maybe starting like, like Marcelo. Class. Like Marcelo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> maybe, what is your topic? I don't know. Let's start <laughs> with something that you like or something yes. that I like. Uh, I love Texas because I love country music. Yes, and country and music is have, very popular. Yeah, I know that in Texas have a lot of cowboys. Yes, yes. <laughs> not, in, not in downtown, but in specific places, yes. You are very smart. You know, uh, many people have told me, oh, you're from Texas. There's cowboys and horses everywhere. And I was like, no, it's not like that. <laughs> It's not like that, but it is like that. Like you said, like the ranches and everything, but yeah, in the city yeah. centers, no, there it's more lot, like... a lot of farms here, yeah? There, there is a lot of farms. A lot of farms and ranches in Agreed. Texas. Ag um, I promise you, uh, at the next class, I will talk about Texas, yeah? The economy, uh, about the, the habits. I will talk about some things, the some cities, Yes, I promise you, I yes. will start a little bit more and we can talk about this. Definitely. Hey, well, you said you like to travel. Like, where, where have you traveled to, um, maybe outside of Brazil? Uh, I, I lived in Canada from six months. From, for uh, six months. For six months. Uh, it happened in, from September of 2010 to May uh, 2011. I have Toronto, a great, Vancouver. Yeah. Not just Toronto. Ah, that's awesome. Did you yeah. go to Niagara Falls? Yes, yes, it's beautiful place. I'm jealous. I'm jealous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was awesome. at the winter time, so it was <laughs> very cold. Moi frio. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes, so I was I telling Marcelo. Oh, so okay. Uh, I was telling Marcelo that I know a lot of Spanish, but you know, in Brazil it's Portuguese, but still, Portuguese and Spanish is very similar. Many yeah, of the words, yeah. right? I, I saw when you tell him un poquito. Told him when I told him. Yeah, un, un poquito. Un poquito. <laughs> <laughs> Look, um, English is mandatory here, but Spanish nowadays is the same. And this kind of job that I have here in Brazil, uh, probably I will have to start Spanish too. How is your Spanish? <laughs> it's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's okay. Because well, it's a you, different because it's Spanish and Portuñol. Portuñol is something like you speak it just to, to say that you speak Spanish, but it's not the same language. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's just to to help you in some situations, yeah? It's yeah. not the specific Spanish. Hey, well, I can tell. I can tell you've been speaking English for like many, many years. Like, how many? Like, how long have you been learning English for? Maybe uh, like ten years. Maybe fifteen years. Fifteen years. Yeah, but uh, I have pri private classes here. Uh, maybe ten years ago. After that, I I stop it, and I have a problem because. In 2010, I can't find a job because my my level of English was intermediate. 
And I have a problem here because when you speak intermediate, you can find a job because they want uh, people fluent. Of course, so it's, of course. It's, it's difficult here in Brazil, you say, I'm fluent. What is a fluent when? I'm fluent because I can carry a conversation with you, an informal conversation, of course, because it's not a technical conversation. Yeah. I tell people all the time, I said, I tell people, hey, don't worry about your accent or maybe other things. The most important thing is that you understand me and I understand you. At the end of yeah. the day, that's the most important thing. Yeah. And when I was in Canada, I I studied in uh, Korean with Korean and people from Asia as you. Oh, okay. It's a specific school for Asian people. Oh wow. Yeah. In Can in, in Toronto? In Toronto, yes. And I and I chose this school because I don't want to find I don't I don't want to find uh, Portuguese people there, Brazilian people there, because they start speaking to you in Portuguese. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. If I want to speak Portuguese, I stay in Brazil. Yeah, they they yeah. speak good English in Canada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, but I think they they spend they spend a lot of time in the library, just studying words. They don't uh, they don't stay uh, outside speaking. I think they study a lot from from their their self their selves, mm -hmm. and though they don't take advantage from the outside. That's interesting. I did not know that. I have never been to Canada. I did when I was younger. I worked for um, a Canadian company. Yeah. So there was a few people that were Canadian, but I've never like I've never been to Canada. I would love to go to Toronto though. Yeah, but I think this is a this is a cultural thing from Korean people. They stu they they study a lot, but inside of how inside of the school, inside of the library, and I I I I I re I figure out this. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So would you go to the library and see a bunch of Korean people just yes. studying together? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But they, they like to, to they improve your vocabulary just at, at the dictionary. Yeah. Repeating, repeating, repeating. I, I was outside in the store, in the supermarket, talking with uh, people from 50 over. Uh, yeah. Retire, yeah. retire people is the best public to talk at the subway at the supermarket and I and I went to a store like to buy a TV or anything yeah and I and I start to conversation with people that's the best thing to do when, when I, I learned Spanish for for two years when I was in high school so when I was like 16 and 17 I took Spanish mm -hmm. I did not learn anything all we did was learn vocabulary and grammar. And part of the main reason was I was not interested. I was not interested. I would just go to school and go to go to the class and open up the book, but I did not learn anything. It's not until I had a Colombiana girlfriend. Oh, yeah. She taught me. I had to speak because when I met her, she did not know any English. So she taught me a lot of Spanish. Yeah, it's good for you, yeah, because... I wanted to speak English with my wife, but she, I think she hates English. It's okay. I won't take it personal. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I, I, I hate speaking English. Sorry, not she hates English. She hates speak, but I will learn. I will teach her yeah. sometimes. How, how is her English? Sorry? How is her English? Oh, it's nothing like my Spanish. Oh, okay. So yes, you can teach her definitely. Yeah, and maybe I can encourage her to start a private class with you. Maybe three months. <laughs> In three months, yeah. If or... she if she realizes my improve, and we start talk here at my home. improvement. 
improvements. My improvements, yeah. Good, good. Yeah. Do you have any children? No. No, either do I. <laughs> I'm 45 years old. Maybe it's late. It's not too no. late. No, it's not too late. It's not no. too late. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am 34, and my mom's always telling me, Joe, are you going to have a kid? Da, 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 da. It's not too late. And I'm, I told her, I want to. I want to eventually, but, you know, it's not one of those things you have to force. You know, you should be forced yeah. to have a kid, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have to change your life, yeah? It's a different way to to live, yeah? My, my dad always told me, he said, Joe, the day you have a kid is the day your life is over. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because it's it's not about you anymore. Everything you do, you want to do for your kid, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> hey. Well, you have to choose, yeah? Yes, everybody to has make, choices. To make a choice, yeah? Yes, you have to make a choice. Yeah. Oh, you have, you have, how many minutes we have? Our time is up. We're two minutes oh, over. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Um, it's okay though. Your English so, is good. It was good talking to you. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, I'm ha I'm very happy now to to start uh, practicing again, and as I told you, to build to build a relationship uh, with you uh, as a as my teacher, as a friend, and. Of you course, know. of course. Yes, likewise. I'm glad I had the opportunity to meet you. It's my pleasure. Okay. And we'll see you again at uh, Friday, five, uh, 3 o'clock here, yeah? Central time is in uh, Texas, yeah? Sure thing. On, on Friday. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and notate that. All right, I have you down Friday, 5 p.m. Okay. San Paulo time. Okay. All so, right. Joe, thank you so much for contacting me, me and start this this journey with me. Contacting me. Contacting, contact, me. Contact, contacting me. Good. Of course, definitely. All right, you take care. You have a good evening, and I will see you on Friday. Okay, you too. Ciao. Bye bye. <laughs> Ciao. Bye bye. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. <laughs> right. Bye bye. Bye bye.